From almost killing Thor with his own weapon to joining the Guardians of the Galaxy on the big screen, fans have been eagerly waiting for the addition of Beta Ray Bill to the MCU roster. So who is he and what sort of role would he play in the MCU? Let's find out, shall we? See, in the Marvel Universe, Beta Ray Bill is a member of the alien race known as the Corbinites. He possesses superhuman strength, speed, agility, and durability, making him a formidable warrior. Bill is also known for his iconic weapon, Stormbreaker, which he wields with great skill. If that name sounds familiar to you, then you're not mistaken. It's the same name as the axe that Thor wields after Mjolnir gets destroyed. Now, I have no idea how they're going to deal with that issue, but since the two characters have already duked it out once in the comics, I won't be surprised if he ends up coming into possession of the axe over the course of the movie. Getting back to the introduction though, Bill made his first appearance in 1983's The Mighty Thor No. 337 by Walt Simonson. He's since become a fan favorite due to his unique design and personality, so if he were to appear in the MCU, it would certainly be a big deal. Fans have been clamoring for the character's inclusion for years, and his appearance would be a welcome addition to the already extensive roster. Introducing Bill could open the door to other cosmic characters from the Marvel Universe, but the inclusions of new characters unfortunately mean that we'll probably see a few departures. Well, I'll tell you why. Because I was a skinny little kid who could squeeze into places adults couldn't have made it easier for thieving. Well, I've been trying to track you down ever since. As Volume 3 will also mark the final adventure for the current roster of the beloved Guardians team. Dave Bautista, who plays everybody's favorite barbarian Drax, has already confirmed that this film will be his last MCU project as the character. Fans have also been speculating about a few other potential deaths in the upcoming film. However, although we'll most likely be seeing several beloved MCU characters leave the franchise, James Gunn's upcoming feature will also be introducing other significant characters from the comics in their place. Alongside Will Poulter's debut as the troubled hero Adam Warlock, there's also another newcomer to the MCU scene, Chikuri Iwuji. He'll be joining the cast as its newest villain, the High Evolutionary. In the comics, the character is more of a mad scientist, known for conducting inane experiments on lower life forms. His main goal is to artificially enhance evolution, with the ultimate goal of transforming all of humanity into perfect life forms. In his own vision, of course. He takes inspiration for his work from another equally deranged scientist the iconic X-Men villain, Mr. Sinister. Looks like the MCU is finally adapting his storyline in Volume 3, as they're going to be revealing Rocket as one of the villain's test subjects. But of course, the kleptomaniac raccoon isn't the only being who's graced the evolutionary's operating table. Enter Beta Ray Bill, one of Marvel's strangest heroes. Despite hints at the character scattered across the Guardians films, Marvel has held back from releasing the character. In Volume 2, a statue of Bill can be seen on the planet of Sakaar during the opening credits. Additionally, in Thor Ragnarok, the Grandmaster's tower contains several Easter eggs, including a statue of the character. These subtle nods have only fueled fans' anticipation for the character's MCU debut. Bill was originally designed as an adversary to Thor, even almost killing him in battle using Mjolnir of all things. But he stopped himself from delivering the killing blow, and has since become a staunch ally. As many of us already suspected, Love and Thunder didn't show us any indication of the character, but that appears to be a good thing, since the upcoming Guardians film might be the perfect place to introduce him to the MCU. Not one of them carried the celestial genes until you, Peter. Out of all my spawn, only you carried the connection. This can be achieved with a little bit of tweaking to the character's original backstory. According to the original source material, Bill is of alien origin, but Marvel could simply retcon that. This would turn him into one of the High Evolutionary's successful experiments instead. I mean, Bill's already referred to as a Horse Thor quite a bunch, so it's possible that he could have just been a horse creature that became the unfortunate subject of the High Evolutionary. However, despite the suspected importance to the plot, trailers for Volume 3 present the High Evolutionary 
evolutionary as more of a supporting character. On the other hand, Adam Warlock is portrayed as the film's main antagonist. Nonetheless, according to the trailer footage, our titular heroes will be finding themselves on the evolutionary's counter-Earth. It's a world filled with his successful experiments, using the term very loosely, of course. The seeds are being sown for the villain to become a major player in the MCU's future. His connection to Rocket cements his place in the plot, and his experiments could result in the debut of one of Marvel's most unexpected heroes. In the comics, Bill is the first character outside of the Norse pantheon worthy enough to lift Mjolnir, and although this was because of the character's willingness to take a life, a character this powerful deserves to be properly adapted into live action. I mean, I'd expect a decent adaptation after years of being teased, and if he's revealed to be a creation of the High Evolutionary's unorthodox studies, it would confirm the extent of the villain's sinister ambitions. So, although some characters may be leaving the MCU, one of Marvel's most powerful villains can still get off to the best possible start. Not just that, but it could mean a whole new Guardians of the Galaxy as well. Following the Secret Wars event in Marvel Comics back in 2015, the main line of comics was reinvented under the moniker of All New, All Different Marvel. It featured variations on some of the franchise's most iconic superhero teams. Both Yondu and David Hasselhoff went on kick-ass adventures and hooked up with hot women and fought robots. I guess David Hasselhoff did kind of end up being my dad after all. Later, during Donny Cates' run on the Guardians comics, Bill joins the team. He fights alongside characters such as Ant-Man, The Thing, Kitty Pride, and Cosmic Ghost Rider. This means that he could be introduced as the newest member of the MCU's Guardians, marking him as a part of the team in the run-up to Avengers Secret Wars in Phase 6. Well, you may not be mortal, but me. Oh, Peter. Death will remain a stranger to both of us, as long as the light burns within the planet. I'm immortal. Mm -hmm. As I've already mentioned, Volume 3 is widely speculated to be the final adventure for Gunn's Guardians crew. The director himself will be departing Marvel Studios to focus on leading the new DCU, and other cast members are also expected to retire from their roles. Characters like Drax, Rocket, and Star-Lord also have major death flags over their heads, so naturally, the crew will require a new lineup for future MCU adventures. If Bill is truly making an appearance in the upcoming film, their future in the MCU will be safe, and years of teasing can finally be concluded as well. Moving on though, it shouldn't come as a surprise that a character that has been teased for so long has some fan theories attached to it. A popular one is that he could appear as a rival to Thor, with the two characters competing over the ownership of Stormbreaker. Another theory suggests that Bill could be introduced as a member of the Guardians, helping them on their cosmic adventures. However, until an official announcement is made, these are just speculations. Introducing Bill into the MCU could pose some challenges though, as an alien character Character, it may be difficult to convey his personality and motivations to a human audience. Additionally, his unique design may prove challenging to adapt to live action. Still, considering Marvel's track record of bringing iconic characters to the big screen, these challenges can likely be overcome. But hey, that's all there is for the addition of Beta Ray Bill to the MCU in the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy film.